as part of to topic 4 of data analysis using python so let's understand the python interactive and batch mode of execution and what is the difference between these since you are already uh, installed python in your machine so you should be having a python you can uh, open a python just by opening the command prompt from uh, wherever you are or you can just search cmd and open uh, from that uh, windows machine any windows machine so i'm just uh, typing in cmd here so it will open the command prompt in the particular location uh, so like uh, if you want to understand the interactive mode since python is already installed so to make sure uh, python is already installed i'm just typing in python so it, it is just showing me what is the python version and uh, the details related to that and uh, it will go to the python uh, uh, shell so this we call it the python shell where it is uh, showing uh, three uh, greater than symbol so this is a python shell what we are calling and uh, we can execute uh, any any python command here and we can get the output out of it so if you are already uh, if you're not installed python in your machine please refer uh, the previous video uh, in the same uh, playlist to know how to install the python so as i've already installed python and uh, let me show you what is interactive mode interactive mode is nothing but once i enter into a python uh, shell by typing in python so then i can type in anything uh, any any python uh, command basically to get the desired output so when i uh, when i'm executing a python syntax uh, syntactically correct python uh, command so i'll get a proper uh, result if i'm giving some wrong code it will uh, throw you the error uh, with a particular syntax error so this we call it as a uh, interactive mode suppose if i give a equal to 10 and then b equal to 20 and c equal to a plus b and then finally i'm printing c so what i'm getting is 30. so in in each uh, command what we are doing here is uh, in each command we are pressing enter and we are going to next next command and uh, we are getting the uh, result at the end so here so this is this is what we call as a interactive mode because we are interacting with the python shell so basically why it is called interactive mode is we are interacting with the python shell so i can print uh, so if i say print a or print b i'll be able to get the value so this is a simple interactive mode uh, next uh, as part of interactive mode only there is a slight variation so if i come out of this shell by pressing just ctrl z or ctrl d yeah if i'm typing this so i'll get a proper uh, output so here what i'm doing is i'm just uh, giving python minus c minus is nothing but uh, it is a command uh, command mode so it is uh, it is very similar to interactive mode but you will not enter into uh, uh, python shell uh, to execute the command basically but uh, it is also more interactive in whenever you are uh, actually sending a command so then uh, let's uh, understand what is a batch mode so i'll come back to the uh, c prompt and uh, as you can see here i have uh, two codes one is uh, written uh, both are python files basically so i'll open one first file the first file is that I'm just uh, printing a line which says executing the Python program. Okay, let me execute the same uh, Python uh, program in the command prompt now. So as you can see, I'm in the same uh, directory, so where uh, first dot Python is already available. So I'll just execute the Python program. So how do I execute a Python program? Is just I'll type Python space, then I'll write first dot py click enter so as you can see it is executed the particular program and uh, it is able to print executing the python program so that means here you are not uh, not only like uh, simply you are executing a single line of code you are just uh, running an entire program basically so you can keep set of co uh, set of codes basically you can keep a number of lines say for example i'll keep uh, uh, just i'll keep on multiplying these lines with let's here a equal to 10 B equal to 20 C equal to A plus B and then print C as you can see it is like uh, I can have this like this I can keep this as an end right program I can keep it as start so if I save this, and uh, execute this, 
as you can see uh, it says executing the python program start and it is printing 30 and executing the python program and so what exactly it is doing it is uh, the entire uh, set of commands it is not executing one by one it is executing the entire set of command at once so that's the difference between uh, batch mode and interactive main difference so in inter interactive mode you will just uh, type the first command and then uh, press enter type second command you are executing line by line but in the interact interactive mode you bundle all the commands in one uh, python program so in batch mode you are running a program basically you are not running a command so that's the whole difference so hope you understood uh, what's the difference main difference between these two and with respect to the batch mode uh, let me uh, show you one more uh, variation that we can see so uh, now let's see about uh, one more variation uh, in the same interactive mode so i'll uh, execute uh, this particular code which is 2.py in the batch mode basically so when i'm running batch mode i need to type python and followed by uh, the file name that is 2.py if just if i'm just executing it it is not uh, giving any result because it is expecting some arguments to be passed here uh, and i'm expecting argument 3 okay so i'll just explain uh, this one like uh, first i'll give some value so i'm just typing welcome to python learning so i'm getting the output as python because uh, it takes the index if you are considering 3 so this python uh, 2.py is a 0 and uh, welcome is a 1 and 2 is considered as a second index and uh, 3 is considered as a uh, third is that python is considered as a third index since we are using python as args it is basically 0 1 2 and 3 so if i change it to 2 so it should give to you cannot save it as a output so this is one more variation where you are passing the arguments and these arguments are read from the command line so in the command line only you are passing the arguments basically right and uh, you can also use arcs here like uh, if you just want to mention this you can also use arcs so again if you are using arcs so one uh, uh, index will be shifted here so it will be like 0 1 2 3 4 5 since we are using here 2 it considers 0 1 2 welcome will be 2 so you can use arcs also if you want to differentiate uh, i mean if you want to explicitly mention this but this is not a mandatory one you can just uh, give python uh, and uh, followed by program name.py and then you can just give the command whatever you are expecting so we'll try this whether this will work this will not work because uh, the, each arguments should be uh, separated by the space and you can pass n number of arguments on such, such arguments and suppose if you are referring the argument uh, which is not there suppose if, if i'm giving uh, arg of 20 but that arg of 20 is not there here right so it will obviously throw index out of range so hope you understand understood the difference between uh, interactive and batch mode and uh, so where, like uh, in batch mode what are the variations and interactive mode what are the variations so let's uh, come to the understanding of these two in detail again so as you can see here uh, interactive mode uh, as we already saw we can write code in command prompt and get back output there itself and in the batch mode we will write a program so there will be a complete set of uh, code we will write as a dot py file and then that will be executed by the interpreter so that's why we are typing as python space and the program name dot py so that will be executed by python interpreter that we call the batch mode and uh, when we're talking about interactive mode uh, so we are writing a short code so it is usually used for a development purpose whenever you are trying out some things right so we'll just go on uh, typing something and uh, it is a series of code we will write and uh, so once we are ready with this so in our development environment we will put all these commands uh, small uh, uh, chunks of commands into one code and save it as .py file and execute it as a program so this will be usually in the production environment and uh, here uh, in, whenever you are uh, typing in interactive mode code will not be saved anywhere uh, as a file format right and the output will be executed line by line as we saw but uh, here we can save in the batch mode we can save the program as a dot py program and then uh, entire output will be executed at once as you already uh, so, uh, shown in the demo thanks for watching